Hello everyone, it's Musical Aviator. We're in Yarram, Victoria. We've only got two more streams left of uh, this Round Australia tour. And we'll be back where we started. Back, what, a year and a bit ago? In uh, Essendon. Which is probably good because in about a week from now, even less than a week from now, there'll be a new flight sim other involved. And we'll be flying the tour again, backwards. But we have to get there first, don't we? So, off we go. We've got Jabaroos today, J160s. We'll be flying 7090, 7090. Uh, from here up to Taradin and then to Tayab. Let's have a look at how we're going to get there. Here is Aaron. Got the ultralight symbol right there. Uh, the clouds kind of scattered but quite low, so like looking at 1,000 ish feet, we've got uh, showers of rain at Moorabbin at 500 feet, so it might be quite challenging to get up that way. Uh, La Trobe Valley giving us 1,200 scattered. East Sail is 1,000 scattered. So clearly, got a bit of a challenge. Um, easiest way to get out of um, low cloud, of course, is just come down to the coastline. The uh, ground on the coastline is about 50 feet above sea level, so even if they get down to 500 feet, we'll be all right. Intentions to come out of Yarram down to, um, where is this? Port Welchpool, I think it is. Straight across the uh, Lawson's Promontory to the north of those um, windmills. Pop across Inverloch on the coastline. Might do a lap of Phillip Island and then push up across French Island into Turadden. We'll touch down, we'll land at Turadden, we'll um, see if we're, the cafe is open, it probably isn't. And we're going to move out to Tayab via the Yoringa Yacht Marina. Ah, oh, the kangaroo, yes, good to see that we uh, recovered from our crash. <laughs> in Atlanta. And yeah, Spencer's uh, flown this aircraft in the real world. Good old little uh, Jabiru. That'd be Lachlan over there in the 172. These things are tiny, even this little short man, which we've established is about maybe even a foot shorter than me. Yeah. His head kind of sticks over the top of the wing. So bend down and jump in. Here we are with the magical floating uh, Helicopter over there that we can now safely ignore. Alright, what I'm going to do now is pop the flaps down and we can pretend that we're doing a walk around inspection. Nine nine seven coming up over on uh, X plane. Good stuff. And hello to Aaron. Master switches off. Coming out of the cabin. Flaps are good. Tail plane is fine with the trim tabs. Tie down is off. Chops are off. Pups are happy.
fuel drain under there somewhere. Propellers are looking okay. p on the top. <laughs> Straight hit by Sir P there. Tie down is off. Chocks are away and we'll uh, jump back in under the wing. sorted nicely in the aircraft. Single pilot operations today. There's Yaram there, we're going to have a listen to the AWIS. That is Yarum. Automated Weather Information Service, Yarum Airport, time 0601 Zulu, wind 240 degrees magnetic at 16 knots, temperature 12, dew point 11, QNH 1007 hectopascals. Rainfall last 10 minutes, 0.2 millimeters. Automated weather information, sir. So there's been a little bit of rain. Little bit of rain. QNH 1007. There. Cool, aircraft looks clear. Fuel is on. Master in. Mags on, fuel pump on. Strobes. And starter. Hey, we are Yeah, one, two, double O is good for me. our uh, CTAF 126.7 267 is set. What's the next one after that, Teren? 242. Cool.
Alrighty. Gonna use that one. That's a non-calibrated instrument, so yeah, don't rely on that one too much. That's the trim. That's the stick. You have to take your hand off the stick to get to the trim, or you have to reach across the cockpit with the other hand. Cool. Alrighty, we're going to move out. Uh, pushing on to Yarram, on to runway 0 9 wind, uh, actually wind 240, so we're going to be runway 27. Straight out departure, slight right hand, no, left hand turn I think. And then uh, head down across the water. Cherokee, Papa, Alfa Romeo, parking the grass, taxis, runway 27, uh, Yarram traffic. Yarram traffic, uh, 7090 Debru is uh, departing runway 27, we'll be taking out by the uh, grass, making backtrack runway 27, we'll hold short 27, behind the uh, tree. Let's go. Very simple engine on these things. Uh, you've got a throttle control and that's it. Alright, we're going to do a run up. Mag 2 off. Mag 1 off. Happy with that. Traffic, Yarram, Limited, Cessna, uh, two taxis, runway at 2-7, uh, you're trucking out. It'll be a flaps off departure. The There's, I think, Traffic Spencer. Traffic, Yarram, Turkey, Papa, from you, starting runway at 2-7. For straight out departure. Yeah, I'm traffic, uh, February 7090, entering runway 27, back track.
from Air traffic, Cherry Keeper Bar for me, departing straight out, uh, maintaining 800 feet here in traffic. Alright, so we had 997. Haven't had him on the radio for a while. Yarram traffic, uh, WRU 7090 departing runway 27, straight out departure 1000. And that's where we enter the cloud. Alright, down we go. Didn't see that one coming. Right, time airborne was 15, wells in 20 minutes, 35, call it 34. Oh, it's right, Spectre, yes, the uh, new Microsoft Flight Sim does indeed look very nice. And I'll be happy to be using it in about 5 days. Here I'm going to set part departing on the way at 27, straight out departure towards Tourette.
One downside of the Jabiru is there is no autopilot, so just hand flying. This is roughly Taraville, Robertson's Beach. So at Point Albert, just down there. I do like how easily this thing will overspeed. It's great. And we'll probably pick up our altitude of 1500 now. I'm over Port Welshpool right now. Corner inlet up here. Wonder which uh, aircraft we'll use first in the new Microsoft Flight Sim. Might be Diamond 40? Don't know. Is there a Jabiru in it? Doubt it. There's a Robin. <laughs>
as a cirrus. Of course, we're going to have uh, nothing but default repaint for the, for the first few months. Yeah, the Diamond DA40 is looking like a good classic. We've also got the Cessna 172, but we'll probably only take that in from Yarram onwards. So I reckon we'll be uh, DA40 down to Yarram and then across the uh, the Tas the um, over to Tasmania in the 172. I'm definitely downloading. Don't have any space or time for discs. I think I'll try and lock up to 2,500. There we go. Yep, I do suspect the first fight will be uh, the reverse of the Australian tour. Uh, Diamond DA40 uh, from Essendon to uh, Tyab by Lilydale. The second fight will be this one in reverse, and the third one will be over to uh, Finders through. Uh, yeah, from the zone. With probably a few airliner flights scattered in between, we'll see how this uh, 787 and the 747 fly. I think Chewie flew the 747 recently, so yeah. Might get the 787 out. It's going to be a bit weird flying with default liveries for a little bit. Reckoning that there is Port Franklin. Which makes that the Agnes River. First road to our north should be the uh, Gippsland Highway, or the South Gippsland Highway. Just behind us was Berry Beach.
Port Franklin is the next big town. We can just see that off the nose there. That's Mangrove Island. Okay, from Fork, uh, Port Franklin, we're going to track across land, I guess you'd say, instead of around the coastline, because the coastline goes way down south into the, like, past Tidal River, down the Wilson's Promontory. There's no need for us to spend the time doing that. So we're going to cross uh, Port Franklin to Fish Creek, and then um, Venus Bay. little town on the other end of Venus Bay called Inverloch. Oh, the continuance cockpit, yep, we're flying the old Jabiru, the 160. Two members of the uh, stream today, including one flying with us, uh, have flown this real aircraft. Not Jabiru's, but, you know, 24 70, 90. Anyway, we don't need Yarram anymore. Might even pick up Melbourne Centre on 124 zero. Jetstar 502, you can send that 3000 cleared ILS runway 16. Channel 3000 cleared ILS 16, Jetstar 502. There is Dead Horse Creek. One of them is anyway, I think it's that one.
wonderfully named Dead Horse Creek. Melbourne Centre, this is Qantas 545, just looking to step away for a couple of minutes. Qantas 545, no worries, call me when you're back. Qantas 545. Alpha Papa Alpha descend via the Star 4000, cleared ILS runway 16 approach, report established. Alpha Papa Alpha descend 4000, Sierra ILS 16, contact uh, Melbourne Centre 125 decimal zero, expect star clearance. 125 decimal zero, contact 1065, good day. Jet Star 504 Melbourne Center. Go ahead, Jet Star 504. Jet Star 504, contact me 124 decimal zero. I believe that's Anderson's Inlet. Venus Bay further south. Jet Star 502 established. Jet Star 502. I'm going to cut straight across towards the uh, top of this bay. 1205, thanks for your service. Jet Star 502, this is Alpha 3000. Two indicators there, Alpha Papa, Alpha Descent 3000, cleared on this runway. Ah, that might be Sandy Point actually. So Venus based right ahead. Cool. Which would make that little output of land uh, Cape Patterson. Yeah, the Jet Star 504 with you. Jet Star 504, Melbourne Center. Alpha contact Melbourne Tower, 120.5, g'day. 120.5 for Alpha Star. Alpha Star, Star 504, will be off comm for approximately one minute. Bit bumpy. It's just moving a little bit. It's not too bad. There's the windmills. It's kind of thread straight between the gap between the two windmills before we head out. Man, these things are slow. Melbourne Centre back. Melbourne Centre, Qantas 545, also back on comps. Qantas 545, thanks. Had to find Fish Creek at 500. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm not even sure Fish Creek is in the sim, but there you go. There's no autopilot to have on, so no. <laughs> 
the auto part that doesn't exist isn't on Fish Creek is just before the windmills. Alright, well I saw the windmills. So we're in the vicinity of Fish Creek right now. As I said, I can't guarantee it's even in the simulator. is directly south of the creek that gives its name. A <laughs> big fish, big roof that says Fish Creek on the roof. Cool. Don't know why that heading is so far off, but there you go. I've not flown a A350, not as a passenger or as a pilot or in a sim. I am A350-less. We shall fly on down to uh, Venus Bay. Just to the north, there it is, Venus Bay. And Inverloch just on the far end over there. And Point Smythe jutting out into the bay. <laughs> I thought the uh, 787 was too quiet.
Yeah, the good old uh, engine roar. I think the best engine roar I've heard recently was a 747. Yeah, got a little trobe up there somewhere. One two, uh, Christian Jet Star 720, contact Melbourne Centre 125 decimal zero, expect start clearance. Uh, Melbourne Centre on uh, 125 decimal zero, Jet Star 720. Quarters 545, thank you, contact Melbourne Centre 125 decimal zero, expect start clearance. 125 days to all zero for Qantas 545, thank you. Alpha Juliet, there's uh, no reported or observed traffic center. <laughs> the good thing about finding the coastline is you can get down to 500 feet without uh, too much of an issue. This is area 250, passing out to speed 2000, departing from wide area. New Zealand 250 Melbourne Centre, you're identified, climb by the SID flight level 150. And then New Zealand 250, just confirm flight level 150 is your final altitude. And New Zealand 250, just confirm flight level 150 is your requested final altitude for your cruise. New Zealand 250, confirm flight level 150 is your requested cruise altitude. Final 
That there is Inverloch. Another nice little township that I wouldn't mind visiting one day. A bit far away though. There's a very nice um, place, Kilcunda. I've seen photos of it. The really interesting uh, rail trestle bridge over Shelley Beach. And Gatha just around north. One thing is coming up. There's a VOR there, or used to be. Now it's a waypoint, Onagi. <laughs> so Rad Nawis just go a shop. Interesting. I'm guessing Lachlan Boy did call that, that's why I was telling us. So the winds were definitely not calm. <laughs> mm. I called the AWIS and it's a shop. Not calm. Let's see if we can pick up the uh, Bourne Creek trestle. I've been vouchers. Good afternoon. Connors 440 with you passing 2100, climbing to 5000. Connors 440, Melbourne Centre today identified. Climb by the seat, flight level 350. Climb by the seat, flight level 350, Connors 440. I do believe that would be Kilcunder up there somewhere.
I'll leave that town there as Dalston. Dalston, sorry. Dalston? Dalston. There's a Y there. That would be the edge of Untagi. Dalston there, and then Kilkunda. There's the spot that I'm looking for, right there. Kilkunda Beach and the Bourne Creek Trestle Bridge. Might do a circle around it just for the heck. You can see Phillip Island beyond. Melbourne Feta, Keelink Mark 58, Delta climbing 5000, passing 2500 on uh, runway heading. Keelink 158, Delta Melbourne Centre, get a identified climb flight level 250, turn right heading 030. Flight level 250, right heading 030, Keelink 158, Delta. Welcome to Kilkunda. I think this is a town that I want to see. Especially that little ridge right there. There's an old railway trestle ridge that goes across this creek. Right about there. Uniform Alpha Juliet Turret and Starwatch terminated today. Killing 158 Delta, resume a navigation position at 6 miles north of Melbourne. Track direct Docel, Land Route. I resume own navigation direct Docel, Killing 158 Delta. Melbourne Centre, good afternoon, Velocity 142 is passing 3,400, climbing 5,000. Uh, station calling, I believe it's from Velocity call sign, uh, confirmed calling from Charlie. Uh, apologies, I am now Velocity 142. Velocity 142, got you identified now, climb by the SID level 370. Climb by the SID flight level 370, Velocity 142. Cool. So that's killed Kanda. I 
I'll continue over to a place called San Remo, which is just on the mainland side of Phillip Island. There's a bridge that jumps between San Remo and New Haven. New Haven is on, on Phillip Island. Straight up ahead, Phillip Island. Penguins live down there. The Phillip Island Nature Park. Cape Ulama, and this is Santa River. That there should be a bridge right in this gap. <laughs> Don't know why it's not a bridge in the in the sim here, but there you go. I've driven across that bridge twice. <laughs> I plan to drive over it again one day. Anyway, we'll fly over New Haven, and there's a little airfield down here, which is actually closed now. Uh, they only use it for helicopters or something like that. Not even sure they use it for helicopters, to be honest. Looking down in there, there is a uh, there's a DC. No, it's not DC. There's some like National Vietnam Veterans Museum on the airfield, but the airfield itself is no longer listed as a, a landing area. There's X's painted on the runway. Yeah, whole thing's closed. Approach uh, it's uh, uh, 720, uh, 4500. Uh, Sydney approach here on 124, decimal zero. Sydney approach is 124, decimal one four. Uh, I had trouble hearing you. If you could repeat that, please. Just uh, 720. Wrong frequency, 124, decimal four. Keeling 414 Delta departure. Keeling uh, 414 Delta Melbourne Centre, so you just cut off the end there, school 4243. 4243 Keeling. 
phone photo. So up there is the uh, Vietnam Veterans War Memorial Museum. In the real world, there's a aircraft of some sort sitting right in that field. Killing 414 Delta, number 20, you're identified. Cleared to Melbourne by Earth plane route, flight level. Two two zero verify level. Melbourne via Earth planned route flight level two two zero. We're passing uh, flight level one zero five. Killing four four dogs. So this Killing little four, suburb's four, called Woolamai. Some of you may know uh, Phillip Island is a place where the uh, biking Grand Prix happens. The uh, racing circuit's just up here. We'll head on up. This suburb here is called Surf Beach. And just up in here is Sunderland Bay. You'll see a very small indent, which is the bay itself. Right there, Sunderland Bay. It's a caravan park just to the west of Sunderland Bay. After Sutherland Bay, it's uh, Smith's Beach, and then the uh, Phillip Island Grand Prix. That's Smith's Beach right here. That there is Cunningham Bay. And we'll do a lap. Lap of the Grand Prix circuit. Funnily enough, we have to slow down for this lap because it's too tight otherwise. It is zero two five zero.
seem to have a photo reel of it stuck on top of a not photo reel of it. Funny. Alrighty, so that is Phillip Island. Time to head over the top of French Island to get our way up to uh, Tretton. And this here is the township of Cowes, C-O-W-E-S, Cowes. Used to be a VOR in there called Cowes, and now that's a uh, waypoint called Sunti. can't quite see it but there's a little township called Wimbledon Heights which is an almost perfect square behind us that's Wimbledon Heights there Jetstar 504 contact Melbourne Centre 125 decimal zero expect star clearance 125 decimal zero Jetstar 504 and this little section of uh, suburb is called the Silver Leaves. Just next to the golf course there. And off on that peninsula is a rill. R-H-Y-L-L, -L, rill. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, the old face mask required to sign. Marshall Hogan. Indeed, we're flying to good old Tayab. But first, we're going to fly to Turadden. So, going to be waiting a little longer. <laughs> Uh, threading on one two, what's it? One two four point two. Cool. Uh, landing runway two two. So pretty much joined straight into the downwind. Cool. Yeah, haven't been bad. <coughs> Board of lockdown yet? I am. I think once we get let out of lockdown, my assumption is that we'll be allowed to wander around Victoria, but probably not into New South Wales. I think I'll just take a day off from work and just drive around. Aimlessly. Star 502, Melbourne Centre, good day. You're clear to Sydney by Dosel Land Bridge, runway 27. Dosel 1 departure, climb by Sid 5000, score 4075. Interesting. Interested in going to Kilcunda. Uh, Dosel 502, we're clear to Sydney. Dosel 5000, route Dosel 1 departure, runway 27, climb by Sid 5000, score 4075, and remain to string to see just the 502. How long have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four
three. Still four weeks out. Four weeks to go before allowed out. That's also true, Aviator. <laughs> the second you'd say, hey, lockdown's over. Let's jump in a any type of aircraft here. I'll be there. <laughs> Indeed, four weeks till Victoria's parole hearing. <laughs> we'll decide if we get let out then or not. Other thing that I need is a haircut. I haven't had a haircut since... I can't even remember when. Alrighty, looking for our position at Taradin. I think I can see the bay there. That's got to be Dick Creek there, so the airfield's got to be out here somewhere. Cross up the, the smaller section here. This is Jam Jirap, I do believe, straight ahead. I'll fly around the bay. Just a 502 request push. Just a 502 push approved. Push approved, just a 502. There to there. All right, cool. Got strict frequencies. Dreadn traffic, uh, Javaru 7090 is at uh, 1500 at Jam Jirup inbound uh, Threaden runway 22. We'll be uh, joining the uh, left hand cross, uh, left hand uh, base runway 22. Estimated uh, circuit time uh, 1. So again, two one.
Oh, the Rossi, how you doing? Just pop it into the good old uh, Tredon. We've got French Island over there. When I first came to Melbourne, I had a little bit of a weird thing where we got together and got asked randomly uh, quiz questions about bits and pieces of Australia. And someone asked me, what is French Island famous for? To this day, I still don't know. Apart from the fact that it's close to Phillip Island, which is far more interesting. <laughs> French Island, the place that you wish we were at Phillip Island. That's right, tomorrow is final leg. We'll be uh, popping this aircraft into uh, Essendon. Through air traffic control areas. Should be fun. <laughs> Nudists, koalas, nude koalas. Joshua, you should see the link below. It's the Jabiru aircraft from uh, Ara Simulations. Aircraft in use, Ara Simulator series. Traffic two, I don't mind myself. Pause Cessna one seven two, taxi from right two two. I've got Threaden inside. Call the base. An extremely extended base, straight into the runway. Yeah, it's like, the thing that uh, Phillip Island is famous for, it's got to be the Grand Prix. But French Island? Nah. <laughs> you got me there. Highways in sight. Runways inside. Jordan traffic, uh, Jabiru 7090 is on extended base, runway 22. Okay, I'll take out stage flaps. Good in traffic, uh, 7090, final runway 22. All the flaps. Trim, 65, gotcha.
Traffic corridor and Lena Sarah Papa lines up wrong with you too. I don't think I've ever seen this many aircraft here at Turudden, but anyway, what they're about. Sorry, make a slight went overboard with the uh, amount, of <laughs> amount of traffic. Yeah, it looks like a, a bit of a bigger ship. Traffic corridor, plane with separate departs from a two to right base departure. Well, here, right next to them. Cool. <laughs> Indeed, half of them are you guys. At least those two are. Ah, that is too. Funny. Where's the cafe? Is it up there? It's Sunday, it's probably not even open. Oh well. Let's jump out so we can say that we touched to Radden. Yeah. Why is it moving? Ah, the good old 172. Not a bad choice of an aircraft. Yeah, the old shipwreck's a little bit... not shipwrecked. <laughs> Acrobatics. We'd have to go somewhere with the appropriate kind of training area. Where would that be? It'd be in there, wouldn't it? Anyway, I don't know the right type of aircraft for that. Training areas above French. Okay, cool. There's also that one just up near Cranbourne, isn't it? This thing here, aerobatic area. Look at that. From Officer through to Clyde uh, outside the suburban area. Fun. But yeah, we don't have the right kind of aircraft for that. 
So, we'll jump on board and uh, make our way down to Tayab. Tayab's the last public event that I went to before the big virus thing happened the first time around and we got locked down the weekend after that. Alright, today we're just going to fly out of Tradden, uh, head along the coastline until the Yoringa Yacht Marina, call inbound to Tayab, and make our way in. Let's have a listen to the AWIS and see what's happening down there. Is there one? Don't think there is one. Dang. Alright. Never mind that. Alright, what's the weather doing? Murabin. Current time 0730, so we'll call it this one. 260 at 7. Almost a direct crosswind. There is the grass runway 026. <laughs> 0826. Now I think we'll use the main proper actual runway runway. Which is that one there. Yeah, one seven's a fun one. Straight over the road. Spencer's heading to Moravan. Hmm. There is an ADIS at Moravan. That's cool. Guy Bean <laughs> and Skelly Ditch. Yes, we did not stick the landing this morning. It was excessively hard. Would have uh, probably put the airplane on its back, to be honest. <laughs> Survival. Well, it's possible, but it wasn't assured. All right, let's uh, start her up. Fuel pump is in. Fuel is on. Start it. Yeah. Why well, have we got full power? Rossi saying he's never felt safe in a Jabiru. That's fair enough. <laughs> it's a pretty tiny contraption. Okay, one, two, four, two. And off we go. VH Tom. Okay. Uh, just doing the GA tomorrow. This aircraft up to uh, Essendon. After that, we'll see what happens, but I doubt that we're doing too much else. Yep. 
keen to get this stream done and over in the next half hour to an hour. <clears throat> Come on up there. Sorry to Twitch people, I have been neglecting you. Anyway, someone's asking where I live. Melbourne. Who's that? I know it's on you a lot. Ah, tell you later. Check out mags. Mags looking happy. Tradden uh, traffic, Jabiru 7090 entering runway 22, a uh, right hand uh, crosswind departure to uh, Tayab. Goodbye to Redden. Tayab's up next. We have uh, frequency one to eight zero.
Yeah, traffic trace is about from me, climbing to 700 and 1,500. Departing to the north, direct Karam time traffic. Okay, so we're looking for Crib Point. No, we're not. Looking for uh, the Ringo Yacht Marina. I think that's War Meat right there. Somerville. Somerville and the Yacht Marina straight ahead. Barely. <laughs> it's kind of very faint. You need to turn your mic up a little. Let's make uniform on the go, climbing out of 200, uh, climbing 2,500. Uh, left downwind, joining left down. Uh, time. Okay, about that time five zero. So I have traffic uh Javaru seven zero nine zero is one thousand five hundred over Uringal Boat Marina. Inbound the circuit time five zero. The hardest bit right now is to actually see it. Got it. <laughs> That'll help. Yeah, they'd be at uh, 1,500. Field inside.
<laughs> Indeed. Random door open. Yep, cool. Random. Cyber traffic, uh, 7090 is on the dead side of the field. This angle 1000 feet. Uh, we'll join on the downwind runway uh, Where's the 172? Can't see it. Yeah, I'll be parking in that space there, I reckon. Or maybe down there. Some of those things aren't looking very flat. Type traffic uh, 7090 is on our left hand crosswind to join downwind runway 17 to land. Clear the wind. Type traffic uh, 7090 turning base runway 17 to land.
Approach flaps. Side of traffic, uh, 7090, final runway 17, full stop. Oh, that's some crosswind there. Sure to test of the airport before we came here. I think we've got some ground effect issues happening. Yes. <laughs> 118 This is going to be interesting Stop traffic 7090, vacate the runway. <laughs> yes, yeah, speedy is a little bit, um, what's the word? Not convinced <laughs> about that one. <laughs> I'm not convinced about this airfield being flat. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> He's just hovering there. Oh, there's aircraft down in inside this valley here. Yeah, we'll need to get the old uh, flatten tool out next time. Go ahead and uh, park here at Tyab Heights. <laughs> Flattening the curve. Funny. Anyhow, avionics are coming off.
Spinny man is spinning. There we go. Oh, we left the flaps out. <laughs> Never mind. Indeed. See you on the Discord. See you tomorrow. Um, hopefully with a flatter looking airfield than this. I would buy the Orbix, but literally we're going to be in this simulator for one more day. <laughs> and then we go into the new one. Not forever. I'm sure we'll come back to P3D at some point as we uh, want other aircrafts. But uh, at least for now, that is us in... Uh, one more flight left. I'm going to go away now and make sure that this airfield is a little flatter than it is now. Using ADE editor. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll uh, fly this aircraft up to Lilydale and then down to uh, Essendon. Uh, maybe a 447 doesn't have a Discord link. Lachlan, are you there? How do I do that? Inbox, help. I'll get you a link on... Uh, oh, there he is. Lachlan's giving you a link. And I'll send it to you in uh, Facebook as well. Anyhow, I've been Musical Avida. That has been flying along the south coast of Victoria and Phillip Island. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.